Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to learn to draw a rose. Stephen King's Rose Red. Ugh, not that! So what we're going to do is we're going to learn to draw two roses. One is going to be a little bit more simple, a little bit easier to do, and the other one would be a little bit more advanced. So let's get into it. Um, I simply just have a pencil brush selected, so it just kind of looks like this. And there's a few different ways that you can really go about this. Uh, if you already know how to draw the rose, you got it, you know, down and everything. But if uh, if not, it's easier to kind of get the bigger shapes in. And so that's what I'll be kind of doing to start, just to kind of show you how you might want to structure this. Um, on one screen, I have my reference in images, uh, different roses and things like that. So I'll be looking over at those roses while I'm doing this, just so it kind of keeps me in line with making sure that it's looking proper. So, what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to make a, a shape, and this one's this shape is going to be like a sort of like a vase. So I'm just going to do a rounded top here, just like that, and then I'm just going to kind of bring it down. It's going to kind of taper in towards towards the middle a little bit, and then I'm just going to round it right back out, almost like into a, a bowl shape. Just like that. And really that's uh, going to be for the first image. That this is really going to be our main shape. So what you can do is whether you're doing this with a regular pencil or in Photoshop the way that I'm doing it is you can do all of these uh, pencil pencil sketches very lightly and then when you go over top of it with your main sketch you can do it a lot darker. So I'm gonna look at my other rows and instead of erasing this well let me just do it with an eraser so I could either drop my opacity on that layer or I can get into it like that with an eraser. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little corkscrew kind of right in the middle just like this and I'm just gonna kind of bring it out and around and then when I get around towards the middle I'm gonna kind of go up and then down there we go then I'm going to almost kind of where this starts. It can overlap a bit, so let's make it overlap. Make it overlap and I'm going to bring it around down and in here. And then I'm going to bring it towards the middle and I'm going to go down all the way to about where that ended right there. Going to go back to the other side. Bring this out a little bit. This is a pedal that I'm working on. And then just bring it and connect right in there. And right here. And connect it again. So you can already see our flower is shaping up, our rose is shaping up. Then back over here. Let's bring this out. And bring it right in there. So it almost looks like the other side. Uh, the big thing is, is I don't want it to be exact match with both sides. I want it to be slightly off. So this is really our basic rose. Now all I'm going to do is, I'm, and it doesn't have to be dead on those lines that we did have, but I can bring this in, erase that a little bit, bring this in, and around again. Same with this side, bring it in, kind of following that. Don't have to be exact, but I think my guide was pretty good. And right in there. Now, we're gonna go back up in here, and where this is, 
where this corkscrew is, I'm just gonna drop lines straight down. So straight down, straight down, straight down, and straight down. Just like that. Give a little bump to where that connection for the green is, the stem. Then I can bring this down and around. This is our stem. Then we need a couple leaves. Just like that. And if you're in Photoshop, you can always just grab this one side and kind of mirror image it to the other side. So that's the basic rows and for the advanced rows, uh, I'm really just going to take this simple rows and I'm going to build onto it. That way it makes it a little bit easier for you guys if you want to do this on your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this rows and I'm just going to go ahead and erase this stem out of there so it doesn't get in my way or anything like that. And I'm just going to really start kind of adding petals to it. So maybe I'll bring a petal right in here and like I said a big thing about this rose um, that I'm going to be doing is I don't want it to be exact side to side um, from one side to the other I don't want it to be you know a perfect match so that's one thing I'm going to be looking out for so I'm just going to kind of bring petal here and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side petal and they don't have to be the exact same shape or anything like that Let's take a petal right in here. It's going to go kind of in front of that petal that we just did. Just like that. And make the kind of kind of the inside inside of it here. My cat always loves to talk when I'm recording. And my dog loves to snore when I'm recording. <laughs> I feel like Bob Ross talking right now. It's like, we're just going to make a nice, a nice, happy, nice, happy pedal. You like happy pedals? I do too. It makes me happy. <laughs> uh, Bob Ross. And that's really all I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just bringing these pedals around. Let's bring this here. Cool. Now I'm going to erase some of this out right here. That's where a pedal is going to be. And so we wouldn't see that right there. Might even bring this out a little bit more. Do not be afraid to erase. Nothing wrong with erasing. There we go. Then let's bring, how about we make a, a petal right here? That's what I'll do. I'll just make one right here that's going to kind of wrap around this as well. I don't like that inside. It's a little bit too straight, isn't it? So let's erase that out a little bit. that out and what can we do here we can bring this 
that in here to there. There we go. It's not bad. And this, this, this leaf right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to come in front right there. And I'm going to do that same thing with this one a little bit. I'm going to bring it like it's coming in the front and erase some of this out. There we go. I'm going to erase that. And i got to erase this now. And what I can do is I can maybe bring this one. Because it's like this this pedal right here is going to come down here like that. As if it's folding right around in there. Pretty good. Like that. We can make another pedal maybe right in here. And that's really all I'm doing is I'm just building pedals on it, building pedals. So you start with that simple shape, then you go into some simple pedals, and then we're just building on it. And we're just building on it. If I want, I could make another pedal here on the outside. I could maybe make one up here. There we go. Just like that. And then. I think that's not too bad. So let's add our stem. We may not be able to see that little bump anymore since that's going to be way underneath. Add my leaves. So, as I'm looking at this, I don't think I like this area right here too much, so I'm going to change that. And this is the good thing about Photoshop. I'm going to grab my lasso tool, and I'm just going to grab right in here. And I'm going to hit V, and I'm going to move this up. See what I think about this. Command W. Let's see. I might... Maybe I'll do that in a second. Enter. Deselect. Let me erase some of the, these lines now. I think I like that a little bit better. Might even have this pedal right here kind of come up and over this other one. So bring it here. So at this point, I'm not looking at the reference loads. I'm I'm kind of just filling out what I want this image itself to kind of um, come out to be. So, that's not too bad. I'm going to flip it. Because it always looks weird when I have you flip it. <laughs> um, so I don't like how these two are almost even. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe use my warp tool and bring this one down a little bit. I think like that. Bring this in. Yeah. There we go. Could bring this line. 
there. That way we kind of get that underside of the leaf here. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, if you're doing this with a pencil, you can always indicate uh, the center of the leaves kind of folding a little bit. So if I wanted to do that, I might bring a line up here like that. A line up here like this. And it indicates that fold uh, in the leaf. This. I'm probably going to be painting this, so I don't necessarily have to do that right now. But but it might kind of give me a clue as to where it's going to be doing that. I, think I kind of like this right here. Bring that. Maybe I'll do the same right here. Kind of give it like a little thing. Okay, here. It's kind of nice. I like that. Maybe make, turn this in into a separate leaf. And this is kind of where you go with your with your drawing. You kind of let that drawing kind of take over. Maybe you get away from the uh, the reference so much unless you're trying to do an absolute identical uh, painting or drawing which uh, I don't I don't really do too often I, I'd rather make you know, use it to help but then allow your your image to take over Probably have like a little fold there in that. Cool. See, I can nitpick on this all day long. <laughs> so that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed to today's uh, tutorial about how to draw a couple roses. I'm going to finish this up with uh, some paint. See you guys later.